Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn regular expression. We will understand how to use regular expression in JavaScript. So, what is regular expression? Regular expression is a powerful way to searching and replacing inside a string. It means if you wanted to replace or search any string or pattern, then you can use regular expression. Regular expression is mostly used to search a string or if you wanted to replace anything in the string in that situation regular expression will definitely help you out there are two ways to implement regular expression using a long syntax and short syntax we will first understand using the long syntax so to create regular expression you need to call an instance of the regular expression object like this the regular expression consists of pattern and flag. So when you are specifying argument in the regular expression object, the first argument is a pattern and the second argument is flag. Let's consider the following example. So I will just say let reg, so this is the instance, is equal to new and I will just call regular expression class. So I will just say reg exp. So here you don't need to specify the whole name of regular expression. So just say reg exp and in the parenthesis say pattern. So this is my first parameter comma flag and this is my second parameter. We will understand this pattern and flag soon, right? The second way to create regular expression is using slashes like this. So I'll just say here reg expression is equal to and specify forward slash pattern and then again specify forward slash here now if you wanted to add a flag you can do that also just do the same thing and just after the forward slash here specify your flag right now let's understand how to use it suppose if you wanted to search daily word in the string then you can write this type of code so i will just write a string here so I will say let str and in the double quote I will say welcome to daily tuition. Now I just wanted to search a daily word in this string. So in the regular expression we are specifying string pattern right. So I will just say let reg is equal to new regular expression and in the square bracket here I wanted to search my daily word so i will say daily here now using the search method we will search the daily word in the string and the search method will return a word index number starting position the string start with zero index like an array element so i will just say here console.log and in the parenthesis i will say str so i will call my string dot search so I will just call my search method to search the string and specify regular expression instance here, right? So when you execute this, you will get index number starting position of your word. You can do the same thing with short syntax also. So I will just get rid of this instance of regular expression and here I'm going to add let reg is equal to and here I will just specify forward slash daily and specify forward slash again how the javascript know this is a regular expression to know this is a regular expression we are using forward slashes so the javascript will take this statement as a regular expression just like a string which we specify in the double quote right so this will return the same outcome i personally suggest using the short syntax when you are using a regular expression but if you wanted to use a variable as a pattern, then you need to use long syntax for that. Now, you know that we are using pattern to search for a specific word in the string. But what is flag? And let's understand how to use it. Regular expression have five type of flags. Flags allow for global and case sensitive searching. These flags are used separately or in any order. For example, so this is your string so if you specify the regular expression word in the capital letters and let's see what will happen 
So if I just specify here capital word daily and execute this then you will get minus one on the console. So the minus one refers to not found. It means a regular expression can't find this word in the string. To solve this case sensitive word we have flags like this. If you just specify flag just after the pattern like this and if I just say I here and when I execute this again this will return the word index number. So the flag used to search case sensitive words. There are five type of flags in the regular expression. So the I flag used for case sensitive words, G flag used to global search, M flag used for multi-line search, U flag used for unique code, treat pattern as a unique code sequence, and the last P flag used for sticky search that matches starting at the current position in the target string. There are plenty things to do with the regular expression. To cover everything in detail, we need to start a new tutorial series on regular expression. If you are interested to learn regular expression, then you can comment me or in the poll on the top right corner of the screen, say yes. If I get a lot of requests from you, then I will definitely start this tutorial series soon. That's it. I hope you understand this basic concept behind regular expression. That is all for this tutorial. We will see you in the next one.